everybody. I want to wheeze me a Friday, May 2015, 403 in the morning. Uh, it's nighttime here in our solo survival world. We're going to resume and go to bed. And I think this will be a pretty, I guess, a monumental episode for what we've been working on. I was thinking about it while that video process, which only takes a few minutes uh, in the initial processing, anyway. Uh, we've had a ton of creepers here lately. Baby zombie last night. All sorts of crazy things. Thought I saw a skilly out there. Um, that would actually be okay with me. I want their arrows. <laughs> but, uh, essentially, there's XP from that creeper we killed last night. Um, what was I gonna say? Essentially, something. And I don't know what... What was I going to say? I don't know. I lost my train of thought. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to look, but we're going to find out. <laughs> and it should be interesting. There's some dirt. I'll take that. No creepers today, huh? That's hard to believe. There's that early morning sun going up ridiculously fast. So let's get up here and see how this is going to go down. Oh, I think I think this was part of what I was going to say. I did actually find, believe it or not, I do have some coal there in the chest in my base by the enchanting table. So that's not of like dire need right now, so that's good. All right, we're going up, <laughs> and we threw up this ugly thing. And if you didn't know what it's for, you're about to find out. Get old-fashioned way gonna be an etern temporary eternal water source anyway. Why? Because I think it's gonna take a lot of water to fill this thing up. <laughs> so, uh, let's double fist this thing, I guess, and uh, see what happens, shall we? I don't wanna fall in there. I don't know if it's gonna make like a straight column or if it will actually fill it. It's gonna do a column, isn't it? Blast. Of all the things. You know, I guess I could... This is probably not a good idea. But I guess I could go in here. I wonder if we should look at what it looks like. It's just such a pain to get up and down from here. Um, okay, so we'll kind of take an inside look at it. Alright, now... We would want, I guess, that to be a source. And that to be a source. We want to make sure we can get out of there. <laughs> okay, so what's it looking like now? It's looking pretty good. It's not quite filled up though. It's going to get progressively more dangerous, I think. I guess I should have <laughs> maybe not put those overhead. I don't know. Alright, so is there an air spot? Or is this thing full? Is it full? No. Okay, so we've got this little sanctuary, and over there, um, where was a good place to put this? That should not be there, should it? What if this is wrong? Okay, this is our piece one, two, three. So that's wrong. One, two, three. Okay. And then that one should go out four. What is it doing? Is it not connected there? Okay, I see. This was extra glass, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's make sure there's... Okay, so uniform, uniform, uniform. That's what we like to see now. Where is the best spot to place this? I don't really know. I guess we could do just right there. <laughs> this is going to take a while, isn't it? So I put that one there. I wonder if that would look sufficient or would it look weird? It might look a little weird. It's going to be... You could potentially die. <laughs> 
crafting such a thing as this, but I guess that's part of the excitement, although I'd prefer not to have 18 levels if that were in fact going to happen. Alright. So where is the safe spot? Not there? Well, I guess that was air at least. Okay. So... Did that cover that area? I think it kind of did. Let's place maybe one there. And then we'll replicate it on <laughs> this side. We don't want too much of a current in here. Okay. And up we go. These next few buckets will be critical to our well-being or death. And I will show you if you think, how is he going to get rid of that eternal water source without having it cascade? I'll show you. It's simple. But so those little things, sometimes you like overthink them, you know. So, safe spot. <laughs> and that one. What would happen if we put it in this corner, I guess? That would cascade down, correct? Yes, a little bit. That fills that. And I think it's closed off on that side. Let's actually check. Yeah, that side is full of water. So I think we can get up without having to go back for the air pocket. I think we've got like one or two air pockets left. Whoops. We're in a torrent. We're in a torrential torrent. <laughs> Where's the middle? There it is. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright. It's getting dangerous. It's getting a little bit more difficult each and every time. Uh, let's drop back in here. And let me see what we got on this side. Got that one rogue block, huh? Now we don't. <laughs> uh, what is here? Just need to fill this one in a little bit. So... This is a midpoint. Let's drop one. And now we need to swim up. Looks like we're going to have maybe one or two more. <laughs> okay. So we'll grab this. <laughs> and. Okay. So where do we have pockets of water? Pockets that need water. Oh, we're gonna drown, aren't we? No, we're not. Where did that bucket go? Right there. Okay, so this would be, I guess, a good spot. And then. <laughs> Uh, where is a midpoint on this one? It would be nice if this would just do it. I think we're going to have one pocket left. Let's try to swim over here. Yeah, this side is going to be totally covered up now. So, I believe one little area. Of course, it's on the front side. Two buckets should get the job done. Where is it? <laughs> uh, right here. Let's get back up there for some air. And there's that. And I think we've done it. But I can't get up. I don't know if that one would show up, and then if I ever do wind up in here, I'd have one air pocket at least. Okay, where is the hole? There we go. Okay, this is getting crazy. <laughs> Alright. Um, we should probably take a look at it before we cap it. So, let's do just that. The best way to get down from here would be... This, I suppose. Make sure there's no creeper. Just in case. Whee! Alright. Oh, wow. Dark fast. 
Well, let's uh, get out this way. Ten minutes or so in. Hmm, that might look okay. Uh, we will find out in the morning, though. Gonna go ahead and uh, get in. We've been having a lot of mob issues here as of late. Not just doggy either. There's been some, been some good ones. Been some good ones. Uh, I think we'll get in before any of them can confront us today, which will be a nice change of pace. I can uh, I guess I'm, I'm done with Animal Crossing. But I still would like to, I need to check the shops. I've got it set like eight hours off of real time so I can actually uh, play. Oh wow, I didn't think we'd be able to sleep right now. Alright, so 11 minutes or so into this thing. And I think we're going to be done. Shockingly, I know. At least with this. And now even more building awaits us. Let's see. Don't see anything. Which probably means there's something. It's, uh, nothing? Nothing? Oh, really? It's hard to believe. I think I heard an Enderman, but I don't see him. Hmm. I would love to find somewhere that we could get arrow drops, you know? Probably... That's a good candidate, I suppose. There's that base, and then there is that thing from this angle. This is about the highest vantage point we can get uh, from this perspective, so I think it might look okay. It's very different, but that's kind of what we were going for. Silly me, I guess we could go up our own base to get a <laughs> higher vantage point. What was I thinking? I have confronted a few creepers here before, so we've got to keep that in mind. I don't see any. Oh yeah, that looks pretty cool from here. Got to admit. So once we get that dirt out of there, I think that'll be a okay. Um, mm -hmm. still need to get back to work on that at some point in time. But for now, that central area, the central little water feature, I think is going to be okay. And we can cap it and make sure that no contaminants get in or anything crazy. And uh, take it from there. So I'll leave that stack of dirt because I think we might actually wind up putting ladders on that at some point. But this stuff here we'll get rid of eventually. Right now I remembered we have to actually go up there. So uh, this steak will be seasoned with earth. <laughs> when we eat it anymore. So, alright, up, up, up we go. And right here we will cap that, and then I think we had a half slab on top. Although, I have thought of doing a little... Hmm. Mm hmm. Let's, uh... Yeah, I think... Let's let's go ahead and maybe up the ante a bit here. This mm, this will be interesting. That's for certain. Um, how high up do I want to go? Is going to be the question now. And I think we will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Let's see what this is going to do. Do you even know what I'm thinking about? I don't know if you do or not, but I'm thinking about something cool that might do something we've needed to do. This works way better if we had angular uh, stuff, but we currently don't. So we'll just close it in all the way. I guess we don't have to do all the way. But this should actually cascade down in a singular column, although I'd want this to be glass, wouldn't I? Or stone. I'm not sure which. Do I want it that high? I don't know. Maybe we should take it down a little bit. I think we will. We're going to bring it down just a tad. So that was 11, I think. We can always make additional add-ons. I, I hope that's not going in there. <laughs> um, 
this is the main tower. I usually kill myself in these times. Alright, so this will be 10, 9, 8, 7. Is that going to be okay? Yeah, that will be below this level. Although, hmm, I guess we'll make adjustments if we have to. Uh, this would actually be beneficial, I guess. So, we will close this. And, but again, I what do we want to use? Cobble, maybe? Or a glass? The glass might be actually the hot ticket here. So, we want to just do it one time. So, we would have that. 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 And that. So, let's throw this down, shall we? Now, <laughs> um, this brings an interesting question to mind. That took away my tower, but I think we can work around it. Why did we not pick that up? I have to wonder. Alright, let's uh, see if we can do that. Not there. Now we're standing on that, they'll see if I break it. Okay. Trying to get it down a couple of blocks. Slowly moving the cursor. Find the sweet spot. That'll work. Okay. So. Now we should. Be able to just kind of stair step that again. And yeah. This will not block update the water. It's going to stay stationary. This was our tower, <laughs> so I don't want to stand on that one when we break it. And now, I'm left wondering what that will actually look like. And keep in mind that cobble rail thing won't be there at some points, but for now it's going to be. Um, dun -dun -dun. So that gives the illusion that that's being filled. Eventually, my friends... Um, that just won't be like a random spot. You'll be like, ah. <laughs> hey, I remember that time in episode 90 when you put that there and I thought you were an idiot. It turns out, you still kind of are. <laughs> I understand what you're doing now. Alright, let's uh, check this out, shall we? Okay, so that's shaping up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we can always take that away if we want to. It's no big deal. The eternal source blocks, I told you I would show you how... Let's go ahead and get those out of there. I don't imagine I'll be needing water up there anytime too terribly soon. So, step one, get to your source blocks you want to eliminate. A uh, smart thing to do before you eliminate it is make sure you fill your current arsenal of buckets. <laughs> a lot of people overlook simple things. And then you're like, wait, how do you get rid of it? Again, don't overthink it. Just do that. As you can see, water gone. So, come in here, clean all this off just so we can get like a better look at everything we've just done. Because we should shift just in case. Really tempted to get that shovel out right now. This is ridiculous. I think we'll have time to get down and take a look at it. And I'm probably going to have to call it night. This will be, what did we do, 87, 88? Um, yeah, got a few over. Pushing an hour and a half plus, I suppose. Alright. Dirt is kind of valuable to me, so pick up as much as we can. The cool thing here is you can actually stair step that sucker. I'll grab that. Uh, there's some over there. We'll get this out of here. You don't want to break glass, that would be bad. 
Uh, the good news is mobs don't spawn on glass unless they do weird things in the console edition. So let's break this now. And again, we're going to have to leave just a little bit of dirt, uh, mainly so we don't have to place it later. But uh, let's get out here into the desert and take a look at what we've done. Ah, not too shabby. Again, keep in mind that snaking cobble was when we got lost, so it will be gone eventually. But uh, I think that looks pretty cool. I don't know. And then obviously there's so much more to come that I've not even told you about. Those glass panes are going to come out of there. Uh, I cannot believe that you can't make textured glass in this console edition. That's That really changes a lot of my plans. Not just here, uh, but I had some really cool stuff planned. So uh, That's what that looks like from ooh, <laughs> down here. That would have been my chin, too, in real life. Would have hurt me the most. I think if Creeper does come, this is a safe spot. Not really, I mean, not safe for us, but, you know. I feel like there might be a rogue piece of glass on that side, but hey. Uh, it is 4.24 in the morning, and I am going to go to bed. I'll get some of these and rendering and uploading, and... Could have sworn I saw a creeper in that grassy area. You know the drill, though. It's the last episode of this session, apparently, because I said it is. We're going to come down here and do some fun things. I really ought to put stairs here, because it's going down's okay, it's just coming up. Let's monitor the hunger bar. We're three down right now. You remember that. I might forget it. But, uh, let's see here. I think this is a sweet spot. Nope. That goes to a cave. That may actually tie in with that one on the, uh, extreme hill border there where I said, you know, I, I don't remember how long ago it was, but uh, there's some coal right there. Sometimes, I think once I've seen one in here. Um, let's come down here. I doubt there's anything for us. <laughs> there's not. So, But I try. I try each time. I really need to go to the bathroom right now. To, oh my gosh, that wheat is finally ready. One patch of that wheat is ready. It is a small miracle, I tell you. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to have to live stream breaking down that half of the Hall of Bedrock, and I'm thinking I'm just going to use stone pickaxes. Uh, I've got plans for our iron gear, but yeah, I'm really needing to go to the bathroom. I've been drinking a lot of water, but uh, let's pop up here. We're already down one. I'm not sure when that happened, but we were at three. Now we're down four. We're down like four and an eighth or fifth or something. Now we're down five. <laughs> so you get the idea. This is not the most convenient, I guess, thing in the world. Uh, that is ready to go. And we can actually harvest it so we will. I think that's three blocks and that's just two. Right. And for good measure, should we do the reeds? I guess we can. It's been so long since we've punched reeds. Eventually we're going to have to do our library and uh, get all that going. So we've got lots of stuff on the agenda. It just all takes time. In retrospect, that fishbowl 